Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Emma. In this video, I will tell you about the top 10 digital forensic artifacts on Windows computers. On a Windows computer, there are many sources of forensic evidence. Depending on the nature of the investigation, you can collect and process a specific source of evidence. If you are aware of all the possible evidence sources on a Windows computer and how they prove useful for forensics, you will be in a very good position to perform Windows Digital Forensics. Here are the top 10 Windows forensic artifacts that you must know about. First, let's talk about Windows Event Logs. It is a logging mechanism on Windows computers that maintains records of critical operating system events and application events. The logs are stored across various categories. Here are some examples of data you can find within Windows Event Logs. You can find records of when applications and services were started, who has logged on to the computer, about remote connections made, and much more. Next up, we have scheduled tasks. It is possible to schedule tasks like service startup, application startup, or script execution to occur at a specific time. It is possible for cyber criminals to schedule tasks of their choosing to take place at a specific time. When you find a suspicious scheduled task in a Windows computer, you can find relevant evidence like when the task was created, when the task is scheduled to execute, and if it has executed already. Do you know what prefetch files are? Every time you start an application on your computer, say Notepad or Microsoft Word, it leaves behind footprints of its activity. These footprints are stored in prefetch files. Prefetch files are a great indicator to identify the applications that were executed recently on the Windows machine. If an attacker had executed malware, then it is highly likely that you will find a prefetch file for it. Have you heard about the Windows Registry? It is a huge database that holds configuration information for all the applications on a Windows computer. It also holds settings for every user account on the computer. The configuration information found in the registry helps direct the course of a forensic investigation. It is also possible to find information about external hardware devices that had been connected to a computer at any point in time. You can even find the list of applications configured to run when Windows is started. Configuring malicious applications to run at system startup is done quite often by cyber criminals. You know what the recycle bin is used for. It is where files go upon deletion. Cyber criminals delete suspicious files, hoping to get rid of them, but the forensic investigator can find them in the recycle bin, along with the exact timestamp when a file was deleted. Have you ever hibernated your laptop to save its state? That state information is stored in a special file called as hibernation file. When investigating a Windows computer for recent suspicious activity, it is possible to find evidence within the hibernation file. Every user account has a temporary data folder associated with it. It contains fragments of files being downloaded, copy of files that are being edited, temporary files used to set up an application, etc. Processing the contents of this folder gives insight into recent activity on the computer. Cyber attackers may even use this temporary location to store their suspicious files. You must be familiar with the Downloads folder. This is where files and applications downloaded from the internet reside. In this folder, it is possible to find a copy of malicious files that had been downloaded onto a computer, intentionally or unintentionally. The various applications that we use, like web browsers, messengers, email clients, etc., are all a goldmine of forensic evidence. They provide a microscopic view into a user's activity on a computer. Windows computers were designed for multiple users. During an investigation, it is critical to determine if all the user accounts on the computer are legitimate ones. Attackers sometimes create backdoor accounts for them to carry out malicious activity. Now that you know about the top forensic artifacts on Windows, do you want to get started with learning how to perform forensics on each significant artifact? I invite you to visit MCSI's library 
where you can find a number of articles on Windows Digital Forensics. You can find the link in the description box below. In addition to the artifacts we discussed, there are many more sources of forensic evidence on a Windows computer. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to MCSI YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!